So, as we said within the previous video, the rapidity in changing of the scattered light is the most important thing that we are going to use for decoding the information about the size of these particles. Well, how fast is this scattered light going to change? Well, this light, this, the intensity is changing based on the motion of these particles. This is for sure. This is something obvious. And if you remember, within the previous video, we said that the smaller particles have higher diffusion coefficient with respect to the larger particles. So they move faster within the medium. And by moving faster, you will see that the intensity of the scattered light is going to change more rapidly with respect to the time that the particles are larger. But let's see, let's have a more precise look at the reason why exactly this intensity is changing to almost zero and the maximum. You see the light that sometimes is getting red and sometimes almost nothing, you know, white. So you see nothing. So let's uh, have a look at what is exactly happening. Well, within this picture, you see that when we shine our sample, depending on the phase of the two scattered lights by two different particles, we can have two different conditions. The first one is that the phase of these two waves are identical, they are the same, so they will be constructive, they will interfere in a constructive manner, so they will reach the detector as a bright spot, you see here, we have the bright spots, but on the other hand, when the scattered lights have completely different phases. You see here, this one is increasing by the time, and this one is decreasing by the time. So it will lead to the destructive interference. So it's like, it's like that you have no light, so they will reach the detector as a black spot. This pattern that you see here, this is called the speckle. Remember that the speckle is not giving you the pattern of the size of the particles, okay? It is just the uh, spots of the lights which reach the detector at one instantaneous moment. You can also see here what it was said before, that we have the incident light here and it reaches two particles, okay, there are a lot more particles, but uh, let's just consider these two for simplicity. And you see here that when the light is scattered, based on the phase of the two scattered lights, we will have the final interference which can be either constructive or destructive okay so as a result you see here that in the in the constructive manner the light gets red and then 
in the destructive manner you will have the uh, weaker light as you see here the intensity of the light is decreasing so these are all due to the diffusion coefficient of the particles and as we said before the diffusion coefficient of the particles is mainly affected by the size of the particles so the idea is that we want to prepare a suspension of particles within the medium that we know the viscosity we know the temperature we know the other factors which affect the diffusion coefficient and the only thing that we don't know is the size of the particles so if we get the diffusion coefficient then we will be able to find the size of the particles from that diffusion coefficient okay now let's get into the more interesting part of the analysis well based on what it was said before the smaller particles tend to move faster within the medium and as a result you will see more rapid fluctuations and as a result you will see the intensity of the light which is changing more rapidly with respect to the time so this is for the small particles on the other hand for the large particles due to having smaller diffusion coefficient the movement of such particles within the medium will be will be slower and as a matter of fact the change in the intensity of the scattered light here on the detector will be more slowly compared to this which is happening like that but here you will see more slow I'm sorry slower changes within the intensity of the scattered light but you see here that these two random measured intensity of the scattered light at the beginning they seem to give you no information about the size but these are the key and the most important things for our analysis these are the ones that we are going to use to decode the information from to get the information about the size because the the pattern you see here this slow pattern in the change of the intensity is exactly happening due to the larger size of the particles so if the particles get smaller now they are changing more rapidly okay so these two patterns are differing exactly due to the difference in the size of the particles so we must find a way in order to extract the information to derive the information out from these two patterns and this is what I'm going to do within the next video